Get up in here, boy. Hey, there's no room to boat flipping you up in here without hooking Alec with a. <gasps> oh, that's in me. Oh, oh it's in me. Oh, it's in me. How does it feel to be back? What's going on, boys? Wind's coming straight out of the west, I think, or something. I am with Fire Pond Guy. We are uh, we're at a fire pond, I guess, or something. I've been to this pond a couple times, and we are gonna just gonna we're just gonna chill today. We're gonna do a pond fishing episode, a pond hopping fishing episode, where we're gonna hit this one, and then probably for like what an hour, and then we'll move. Yep. Yeah, and we'll move, and we're just gonna we're gonna see what we can do here if we can catch any true Nebraska brew to all in town. It is nice outside. It's like 65, 70 degrees, light breeze, sunshine, perfect conditions, except the water does look like chocolate milk, so it could uh, could make things just a tad difficult. But before I get this video started, check this out. New Ducks Vintage Sunrise Shirt. 48 hours only, it is available. I will drop the link down below if you wanna pick it up. From the time this video is up, you have 48 hours. So if you're watching this, 48 hours after I post this video, this is not available, but we do 48 hour t-shirt sales almost every single week. So um, make sure you follow Ducks on Instagram to be updated with all that jazz. He's gonna see if he can catch a giant while I'm uh, continuing to do the intro. I'll probably t start with the black and blue chatterbait just because that's a classic. I mean, that's for dirty water in the fall, black and blue chatterbait, and uh, if I don't catch anything with that, then then we'll see, we'll make some adjustments. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up because uh, we gotta go catch some fish. All right, here we go. So I'm starting with the, the old black and blue chatterbait. We'll see how this does. Oh, we should have brought the shotgun. Oh, that's, a, that's not a legal duck to shoot, Never mind. Ah, dude, it's like literally an inch of visibility. Crazy. They still should be able to eat this thing, though. Here we go. Moving to another pond down yonder. This is a uh, spillway of the bigger pond. Alec has no idea if there's fish in it, but it probably can't be any worse than uh, the pond we were just at, so we'll see. Yeah, it's definitely clear. Yep, we didn't catch a single fish. The wind's pretty bad. Let me go over here. We really didn't catch any fish, which is kind of crazy because we've gotten so many fish in this pond before, so many good sized fish. And uh, I don't know, water's too muddy. We suck. You know, a little bit of combo, a little bit of both. We're at a new spot, though. Like I said, this is going to be a pond hopping episode. Hopefully the next spot is a uh, little bit better. We'll be in a boat, right? Yeah. Boat fishing. Oh, boys, careful now. You good? Yeah. Oh. Dang. Yeah. There you go. Got him. Land ho. No. Oh. Okay. What? What happened here, Bill? Uh, Kobe let the uh, the old boat just kind of slide right off, and uh, looks like he. Rip part of my tailgate off there, bud. Nothing duct tape won't fix, though. So as you guys can see, we are at uh, Pond Dos with Kobe right here. He's the man, the myth, the legend. You said there's not a ton of fish, but biggins. This is where the biggins live. We are going to go uh, for the big fish only. It's calm. It's still pretty muddy, though. So I'm thinking chatterbait, maybe a little plop daddy action as the sun starts to go down. And uh, yeah, I'm going to shut up so uh, we can go fishing. A few moments later. Oh man, we are moving spots again. I, I told you guys it's gonna be a pond hopping video, but I expected to like, you know, catch fish and then move to another pond and catch fish. Now it's basically don't catch fish, move to a pond, still don't catch any fish, move to another pond. We got one last pond, one last shot. We only have like probably an hour and a half of sunlight left. Hopefully we can make it happen. 20 minutes later. Mr. Ranger, I promise you a fish. Oh, oh, broke that one. We uh, didn't break Alex tailgate, so that's good. I got one. He's coming right at me. I can't catch up to him. I can't catch up to him. Yep. Dude, he was coming right at me. We doubled. Oh, no, my came off. Come here, buddy. Woo! There we go. My first fish. That was so crazy. You guys saw how fast I was reeling. I could see my line just going off. He was coming right at me. Oh, you got him. There we go. We're doubled up. Bring him up in here, boy. Triple. Triple. No way! Oh, 
We almost had triples on the old chatterbait, folks. That is what we are talking about. Not a big one, but uh, we'll take it. I think we might have found it a little bit juicier of a pond. What are you naming that one, Mr. Alec? Uh, Fire pond guy. Kobe. Oh, wow. Quick minute. Oh, oh, that's gotta be a fish. It's gotta be a fish. I can't catch up to him. I, I can't catch up to him. Dude, I can't catch up to him. There he is. Dude, that, my hand slipped off the reel. I could not catch up to that fish. It's actually a decent one too. That is so funny how fast these fish are. Come on, buddy. Yes. There we go. This is crazy. Have you ever seen a fish swim that fast? I could, I could not catch up to it. Another chatterbait fish. It's a little bit bigger. We're upgrading just, just a wee bit. Fire pond guy back there, he's throwing the old plop daddy. Just trying to make some magic happen early on, but sticking with the old ch 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 chatterbait. Whoop. There's one. There you go, get him. Oh, Alec is hooked up. Yes, that's a fish. That is a fish. What are you throwing? Chatterbait. Oh, chatterbait. How about that? I love giving chatterbait free promotion. It's just my hobby. There you go. Bring him on up in here. You're throwing the bluegill. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see you. He's throwing the bluegill. I'm throwing the black and blue. So it doesn't seem to quite matter. You guys see there's a little bit of a ripple. So not completely calm. Normally I talk about if it's super calm, chatterbait's probably not the greatest uh, lure choice. But if there's just a little bit of a ripple or more, you're usually, you're usually golden. And we are, again, fishing in chocolate milk. All three ponds we've been to have been 100% chocolate milk. And uh, that's why it's been kind of tough, I feel like. It's just because there's not a whole lot of bait option. You can't throw soft plastics um, and have them see them very well. Did you just catch a fish? Oh, it came, oh, he came off. <laughs> That was right at the boat. I couldn't even catch up to it. Well, that, that's, I'm going to shut up and I'm going to catch another fish. Let's see if we can catch him here. The thing you can do is, uh, there's one. That? Yep. There he is. There he is, out in the middle. Out in the middle. Oh, that's a good one, too. Okay. All right. Let's go, boys. Finding that juice, son. Yeah, that's a decent fish. There we go. Upgrading. Come here, buddy. Yep. Oh, they've already got those pink lips. You know the water's getting cold when they got them pink lips. When it's cold, when it's cold, them fish wear that lipstick, you know. Oh. You got one? Oh, oh God, you got one. Dude, that's a good one. Oh, it came off. He, he goes, oh, f and he put it right under the boat. That is so funny. Look at that. That's a salt fish. There you go. You see that? We got that little lipstick on there. It's usually when the water starts to get just a little bit chilly. See, buddy? Oh, you do got one. There you go. <laughs> I wonder look why at, I couldn't tell. Look at that little squeaker. We are still on them, folks. A little chatterbait sesh. I wonder, dude, I, I've got a good feeling about this topwater bite. Another one? Oh, he's hooked up again. Fire pond guy is on fire in the middle of the boat. You hooked up? Oh, he's hooked up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What are you doing? Is he running at you? He's running at you a thousand miles an hour. Oh, you do have a fish. You do have a fish, boy. Alec is hooked up. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh! Another ch ch chatterbait fish out in the middle is the old pond. What are you naming that one? Um, this one is Carl. Carl? See you, Carl. See you, Carl. Woo! One of the, one of the times. There's one. Yep. 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 That's a good fish, too. That's a good fish, too. Come on, big girl. Yeah, she's head, she's head shaking. She is head shaking. Yes. Yes, sir. Get up in here, boy. Whoop! Yeah, buddy. Again, on the old chatterbait, folks, we are just letting the sun kind of get... Get low. I didn't even hook it inside the mouth. So right on the outside. That's kind of interesting. Letting the sun get down a little bit before we whip out the old Plop Daddy special. But the old chatterbait's still doing it. This is like the juice spot right here. This is where all the fish are hanging out. Get them! Get them! There you go. Dude, you set the hook like a freaking monster on that one. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh. There you go. God dang, son. You're making me nervous with that rod. Testing the durability over here. Decent. What are you naming that one? Oh, uh, this one's Donald. Donald. See you later, Donald. Yeah, that's the biggest one. There we go. Your uh, your your poles in the water there, but that's okay. There you go. Nice one. Hell yeah. That's what we're after, boys. What are you naming that one? August. August. I like it. There we go, folks. That was the biggest fish of the day so far. As you can see, the sun is starting to go down as we speak. I, uh, I'm i gonna pick up the old plop daddy. You're throwing the spook, and you're throwing what, chatterbait? Chatterbait's still still killing it right now. He's throwing the spook. I'm gonna throw the old plop daddy and see if we can get old Mondo to bite before the, uh, the old sun goes down. 
I don't know. I think that kid couldn't. Oh, oh gosh, there's one. That's great audio. There we go. There's a fish. There's a fish on the old plop daddy. <laughs> oh yeah. There we go. Oh, that's a decent one too. Top water fish, son. Get up in here, boy. Wait. Get up in here, boy. Hey, there's no room to boat flipping you up in here without hooking Alec with a. <gasps> oh, that's in me. Oh, oh it's in me. Oh, it's in me. It's in me. Hang on. That's what she said. Hang on. It's in me. Grab that fish. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I just got it. Oh, that was for sure in me. Oh, crisis averted. My uh, plopper went straight in my stomach. Because I was trying not to, I, I was just saying I don't want to boat flip it into Alec because I don't want to hook him with trebles. So I hooked myself instead. I took the took the hit. That's there called we go. teamwork. That's called teamwork, teamwork son. Teamwork makes the dream work. There we go. Good old plop, daddy fish. See, buddy. And we are back. How was that? Uh, we uh we started out pretty weak and uh, made a comeback there at the end. Late push comeback. Yeah, yeah. So. What he what he said. So good time out on the water, fire pond guy and my good buddy. Kobe, right there. Yes, good times out on the water. Fire ponds, the fire pond guy. You let, we did three fire ponds, only one was fire. But that doesn't, that's all that matters, as long as one was fire, right? Yeah, today was more of a chocolate pond day. Chocolate pond, it wasn't on fire, it was just, it was just straight chocolate milk. But, good day, uh, yes, if you guys, like I said at the beginning, this shirt, 48 hours only, if you guys wanna check it out, I will link it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.